We're Nikki and Carlo and we live in Positano, Italy. Except we also just bought a house in Tuscany, which we're currently renovating, so we live there too. Join us as we turn this house and olive grove into a dream home and get to grips with living in two different parts of Italy. One of the first things I wanted to do when we moved into the house was to recover the fireplace in stone tiles so it looks like an old stone fireplace. Turns out it's not a very practical thing to do when you're moving into a house and you don't have anywhere to sit, eat, cook, wash your hands or anything else. So we had to get a ton of other jobs done but now is the time to change the look of the fireplace because next week the kitchen is going to be installed and the fireplace needs to be ready because obviously we won't be able to clad the exterior of it with tiles if the kitchen's already been installed. So we're going to try and tackle this job today. vines are all starting to grow back on the sides of the house and it's starting to look lovely and the willow tree is now all willowy and blowing in the wind. The grass has grown extremely high and I think we're going to have to invest in a sit on top lawnmower because there's just so much to mow and it takes such a long time. I've mowed little pathways all around at the moment, but there's a lot more to do. It's the next morning. We're carrying on with the fireplace. Carlos made really good headway yesterday. You might be wondering why I'm not helping him. I have tried and all that he asks me to do is pass the tape measure and hold the bucket. So <laughs> it's pretty much something that he's comfortable doing on his own and doesn't want me interfering with. But I am in charge of the overgrouting. So that's what I'm gonna be starting today. And I don't think I'm gonna get it all finished today but I'm gonna do as much as I can without annoying him finishing off the rest of the uh, fireplace. And I think it's starting to look good. And I think it'll look even better once we've got the grouting in. This non è vero che non, non mi faccio aiutare. Ti faccio impastare la colla. È arrivato il momento di mettere l'ultimo pezzettino. The last piece of tiles. Non ci vedo nemmeno, ho gli occhiali pieni di polvere. Ecco qua. Adesso dobbiamo pulire, mettere un po' di dove manca il cemento qua e finito. Well, not really finished because it needs to be overgrouted still and that's going to take ages, but that's my job. Ok. Io ho finito allora. We took a day off and went to Celine's for lunch with friends. Celine is a private chef and wanted to show off her skills to us all before the new season begins and she becomes too busy. Celine, for having prepared. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Bravo, bravo. Bravo, bravo. Bravo, bravo. Bravo, bravo. Bravo, bravo. Bravo, no pressure how it's going to fit in the oven, so but we'll try. It is a Seymour So This, oh, hi. So, <laughs> this is the pasta. No, I'm <laughs> okay, so these are mezza, mezza okay. rigatoni. Um, wait, can you shut up? means half sleeves and they are uh, made with a pistachio pesto mm -hmm. with um, lemon zest and prawns. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. Oh. 
After lunch, we took a much needed walk up into the Pisan Hills. And after that, Lorenzo made cocktails for everyone. Allora ragazzi, eh, stasera abbiamo eh, martini, il mio martini espresso martini cocktail, l'ho fatto con gin sabatini, che è uno dei migliori gin che c'è in Italia, in Italia abbiamo anche il cuore a caffè e poi ho fatto una base di espresso caldo con cioccolato fondente a bagnomaria che abbiamo messo dentro. Quindi come si beve? Si beve il cocktail prima e si prende un pezzettino di cioccolato e si mangia. The very next day, it was back to work on the fireplace. The final touch. I thought this was going to take me ages to do. Like, literally, I thought it was going to take like two or three days, but it's actually taken me two or three hours, which is brilliant because I wanted to get it done today because tomorrow I'm flying to England. I'm going to spend some time with my dad. I haven't seen him since November and I wanted to go in February and never quite got round to it. And then I wanted to go in March and I never got quite round to it. So I'm going now and Sky's going to meet me there actually. So Sky's flying in from Naples. I'm flying in from here and I'll have a week bed and I'm going to get all sorts of things done and I'm very excited about it. And the biggest bonus is we were supposed to have, be having the kitchen installed on in two days time <laughs> and I really wanted to be here for that so we've actually called him this morning and asked him to wait a week so we're putting it off for a week so I will be here for that and I which may, also means I'll be able to share it with you guys and um, I remember last time we had a kitchen installed in Positano you all quite enjoyed watching that so I thought it'd be nice if we could all share it together so that will be happening next week. I'm very excited. And I've finished. I'm really pleased with it. I, it's come out so much better than what I thought. And it doesn't look fake anymore. I'm really happy with that. Time to go to England. I was just saying to Carlo, it is so nice to be able to pack a bag, not worry about how heavy it is, not have to hike it up 500 steps and arrive at the car sweaty and exhausted. It's just such a luxury to be able to just put it in the car and go. And on the way back, I can, I actually have a fold up Samsonite bag in here, a big one, and I can fill it as much as I want and I don't have to worry about how we're gonna get it home. What are you gonna do without me for a week? Oh, I cry. <laughs> I, I I think I go in a boat. In the woods? Yeah. For uh, cleaning the pathway. Okay. For uh, understand in a uh, uh, quale punto finisce la nostra proprietà. Keep the bell on Indy so you don't lose her, so she doesn't run off. Okay. So era per tutto il, il bosco. Yeah. Correndo dietro a cervi, conigli quale altro animale. Take them for a walk every day, please. Oh, yes. Feed them. Feed the turtles. <laughs> Feed the tortoises. Ok, cerchiamo di farle venire a prendere queste tartarughe adesso. Yeah, call them and get them to come and get their animals. Yeah. And all their I stuff. Do. I do. Adesso proverò ad uh, aggiustare questo steccato che è andato giù. Uh, ci proverò senza sostituirli, usando di nuovo gli stessi. Molte volte sovrastimo uh, il lavoro che ci vuole. Nella mia testa io metterò mezza giornata, ma è possibile che ci vorranno due giorni o anche di più.
Eccomi qua, dopo un paio d'ore di lavoro eh, ho finito. Questa volta è andata bene. Nel frattempo non è così buio, ma è diventato molto nuvoloso. Sembra che un temporale sta per arrivare. Over in England, the weather was calmer. One of my brothers is currently staying at Dad's house. He's had a tough time in the last year, losing nearly all mobility in his legs. Maybe a wheelchair race will cheer him up. That will end up going in Oh, the brakes do work. That will knock the bins over. You'll end up going, you'll be over there, you'll be in film and Derek. Do you want a race? Do you want a race? Right, let's go. Okay, right, now what we gotta do, you gotta go round the car, Come on. Okay. Once the nerve roots start growing, they can grow a centimetre a year, according to a nurse. Looks like I'm having a dump, doesn't it? <laughs> Looks like you're about to fall over. <laughs> Which way is he going to go? <laughs> Which way is he going to go? He's going to fall in the engine compartment? Yeah, Dad can close the down straight away. Yeah. Right. Martin Zimmerman. <laughs> Give me a demonstration. <laughs> March! <laughs> Careful of the carpet. Right, okay. Start from the right. This is my brother Martin. I've got three brothers, so don't get confused, but this is Martin. Hi there. He's currently supposed to be out in Tuscany helping me paint and roof and decorate. Dig up the driveway. Unfortunately, he's not. What happened? Right, what happened? In a nutshell, uh, December uh, 2022, went into hospital, had a couple of biopsy operations. On your sinuses? On my sinuses. And uh, from that point, um, unfortunately, he came out of there and was uh, off balance. And anyway, subsequently, uh, we found out there was a non-specific infection and as an ongoing consequence prior to the surgery I could walk three four miles I could be down the shops and back before you'd ask me to go and you're about to let me and, and he what he actually was a break dancer you might have caught him in the early 80s on top of the pops <laughs> unfortunately yeah down to walk, I've been out to very limited distance on a Zimmer frame um, so uh, yeah it's frustrating but um, we've had two operations two operations one operation and i'm going to mention you know thanks to our father um because it was mentioned uh if i didn't have surgery that i would most definitely become paralyzed from possibly the waist down uh possibly from the chest down so now roll forward um i was assessed that the Royal National Orthopaedic Hospital, which is one of the best in the world, um, to go in for inpatient rehabilitation, which I was accepted for, and it's about another three weeks away. Listen, I'm going to be out in Tuscany. I, listen, even if I'm out there on my hands and knees, I'll be digging with my hands. But I'll help <laughs> we'll get him out there. I think yeah. it's going to be way easier to come to Tuscany than it will be to come back to Oh, yeah, time, definitely. So I mean, plus time. Well, I need to Tuscany. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those types of things, otherwise would be kicking me down the yeah, stairs yeah. and uh, sort of rolling forward. Yeah, and, and uh, while you're in rehab in May, hopefully Dad will come out and visit us in Tuscany for the first time as well. Yeah. So it will be nice to it will be nice to have you both out there at some point. Having three weeks of inpatient therapy will be as good as having a year and a half. Yeah. Out in the community, it's a long process, but it's a. Uh, letting the brain talk to the bits that aren't working and vice versa. So it's like a, it's like a circuit, it's like an electrical circuit. And it's just through unfortunate circumstances um, that hey ho, listen, there's people in far worse situations.
Che cosa è successo a questa finestra? Incredibile. Il buco adesso è più giù di qualche centimetro e non si chiude. Adesso faremo in modo che si chiuda. Il nuovo buco non basta perché anche se chiude perfettamente dentro, però questo è troppo distante dal buco, quindi se lo spicci si apre. Adesso dobbiamo fare in modo di avvicinare questo più qua, così che va più dentro e non scappa via. Adesso l'abbiamo smontata e lo vado a fissare e dovrebbe funzionare. Sembra che funziona bene adesso. E lo Holly? La view? Sembrerebbe che anche questa finestra è bloccata. Vediamo un po'. Completamente bloccata. Ma adesso sbloccheremo anche lei. Ok, adesso anche questa finestra funziona benissimo. Hanno solo bisogno di essere assolutamente pulite, sono veramente sporche. I was going through the cupboard, which has a random selection of various people's clothes, and there's actually a few things of my mother's left as well. And I don't know why I haven't noticed this before, but I found this amazing Burberry coat. And I'm wondering whether I should take it. I just don't understand why I've never noticed this before. Dad says that he bought it for her. It must have been, must have been in the 80s. He says that she never wore it. What do we think? Too elegant? Or could I get away with it? Should I take it back with me? Niki mi ha chiesto di potare questo cespuglio alle mie spalle e adesso ci proverò con un attrezzo che non è quello giusto ma io ho solo quello Lo ripeto, questo attrezzo non è il giusto attrezzo per fare quello però ho solo questo nell'attesa di comprarlo continuerò con questo Qualcuno vuole criticare? Lascia stare. Sì, lo so, il cespuglio adesso non è così bello, ma la vista è molto molto meglio. Poi non vi preoccupate, questo cespuglio fra qualche mese diventerà bello pieno come era prima e sarà tutto più bello. We've come to this furniture shop. It's huge. Um, I think we're going to be very, very annoyed that we can't buy much here unless we get it shipped back. Look at this. We had a good look around and I got some great ideas. Most stores like this in the UK don't ship to Europe, so I can't really buy anything here. <laughs> this would be much nicer than my wooden stuff, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. I did love this armchair, but maybe I can find something similar in Italy. I got my hair done while I was there, just to trim and some highlights. We took a few walks and had fun in a playground with no kids around. Come potete vedere ho spostato un po' di cose da qui, non abbiamo ancora ordinato le mattonelle, un po' non abbiamo avuto il tempo, un po' insomma le cose non sono andate come pensavamo, quindi eh, non vogliamo aspettare di trovare le mattonelle, nel frattempo metterò un po' di stucco perché il muro è grezzo e quindi lo renderò più liscio, al limite anche dopo possiamo pitturare sopra 
così diventerà impermeabile. Ho preso questa decisione di mischiare del colore nello stucco. Uh, ovviamente magari non piacerà a Niki o forse piacerà, si può comunque ridipingere e cambiare colore. Io ho pensato così perché è, è più interessante del bianco, no? Il bianco è noioso, ho pensato di mettere un po' di colore. Speriamo che va bene. Ecco qua, ancora non si è asciugato, forse cambierà un po' di colore. Io credo che non è male, calcolando che quel blu non ci sarà più, penso che potrebbe andare bene. Siamo appena tornati dall'aeroporto e adesso andiamo a vedere la sorpresa per Nicky. I'm really worried. <ride> Ma dai, tu mi hai fatto la sorpresa lì della I know, I know, io ho fatto una I sorpresa. Know. Anche io ho tolto qualcosa, ho fatto una, una sorpresa più bella. I know, but you've also done this as well. Have you shown this? Sì, l'ho fatto vedere. Ah, l'ho fatto okay. vedere. Okay. So, yeah, that's great, but the color needs to change. So it's not the color that I was... Ah, iniziamo, iniziamo bene, già stai eh. iniziando a criticare. <ride> Vai, tutto in presa diretta. Andiamo di là. Accendi la luce. Ah, questo è pulito. Ecco, questo è tutto pulito qui. Questa è la sorpresa. No, di là, accendi la luce, accendi la luce. Ah, sono venute. Ho tolto io tutto, amore. Non è venuto nessuno. Chi è venuto? E anche pulito i vetri, sì, amore. C'erano le ragnatele proprio sopra, ma alla grande. Guarda che bel spazio. Outside kitchen. Outdoor kitchen. Dining area. Chairs to relax on and look at the view. Io lo sapevo che tu iniziavi. Adesso stanotte non dormi perché farai i progetti. Where's all the stuff gone? L'ho messo nella capannetta di legno. Laggiù. Laggiù. Ah. Tutto da solo. Wow, come? Oh, ah, lo vedrai nel video. Ho fatto il video. Stamattina ho deciso di togliere un po' di roba da qui. Queste sono le cose dei vecchi proprietari. Noi siamo ancora in attesa che li vengano a prendere. Però abbiamo un'alternativa. Qua vicino c'è una piccola casetta di legno che io ho pulito qua stamattina presto adesso prenderò le cose di qua quelle che posso prendere da solo e le porto di là così quando Niki tornerà troverà quest'area un po' più sistemata e possiamo pensare a un nuovo progetto per questa zona Questo è perché volevo un 4x4, funziona bene qui. Sembra not easy to move this alone, but I want to try. Così difficile smontarlo adesso viene la parte più difficile cioè portarlo via ok 
Okay, I'm finished now. Uh, questa capanna è di legno, è abbastanza capiente. Ci va un sacco di cose qua dentro. Per adesso ho sistemato tutto qua. Non so se i, i precedenti proprietari verranno mai a prenderla, ma per il momento per me sta benissimo qua. I'm really satisfied. I think I done a good job. The windows is clean now. You can see the panorama. Oh yeah. Nikki come back from England and uh, I go to bring her at airport. I may have not looked very grateful in that last bit of video when Carlo surprised me and showed me all of the work he's done here. That is not because I was not grateful, it's because I was completely confused as to what had happened to all of the heavy furniture that had been left in this room. I thought that the ex-owners were going to come back um, in February and March and pick up all of their stuff and they hadn't done that. And as far as I knew, they hadn't been round while I was in England. So rather than being grateful and, oh my God, oh wow, what have you done? I was like, well, where's everything gone? I just couldn't figure it out. Now I've seen where everything is down in the shed and I've seen the footage of all of the hard work that Carlo's done. And of course, I'm extremely grateful for everything that he's done in this house since January. He's worked so hard and I don't know what I would have done without him. Um, and we're making really good progress. So thank you, Carlo, for everything you do for me. Now, join us next week because we're getting our kitchen installed. The kitchen that I still haven't seen finished, so I don't know what it looks like, but it's coming and it's going to be installed for next week's video. So join us for that. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a lovely week. See you next Sunday.